welcome back to FIFA 19. <laughs> what Jordan. really, FIFA? Hey, you know, you Despite know. Despite Alex's continuing his impressive performance record for Real Madrid against Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League, somehow the bosses felt <laughs> the were lacking due to being distracted by the brand business. And in spite of Alex's protests, his performances, and common sense, he was dropped from the next game. We then brought Alex up with us, but to his family full circle, with him getting a right telling off of his disappointed brother. Our current, even though he hadn't been acting like Luckily, that. Luckily, Kim knew what to do. To use Alex's competitiveness against him. After beating him in a game of yard shots, he agreed to hang out with him, starting his road to realizing what's really important. <laughs> it's all about family. family. <laughs> you know, Dwibs, you know, Dwibs, if ever there is a commentary that could maybe use a replay or whatnot that would excel great with including you in, it would be ours of Final Fantasy thirteen. Well, mainly I just put that in because A, it was a track that fitted the um, awkwardness and uh, tragicness of the situation at the minute. And two, just to tease you guys. It's also the thing, Drava. 13 is still a relatively long game. So compared to the other stuff that we're doing, it might be a bit iffy. There's stuff like, I say, uh, you know, Ever Crisis, which is supposed to come out next year, which would be a good excuse for me to be forced to revisit the original FF7. Oh! Cyber remake. Oh boy, yeah. But, I, uh, I would totally love to do a replay of the original 7 as well. Well, like I said, every crisis is a good, ex a good excuse for that, so, it seems, um, but uh, all in due time. That reminds well, me. Yeah, of course, I was gonna, of course I was gonna include the spy room. <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, too, I'm curious. Do you think, okay, I'm wondering if Ever Crisis is going to end up being just a, oh, this is the greatest hits of the Seven compilation, or do you think it'll be like a full on. Sort okay, of, uh, if it's in, if you're doing the same approach that they did for uh, 15 Pocket Edition, it's gonna have still a relatively simplified gameplay, as in not too much. He still hit the key bosses, but not being too much stuff. But it will still talk about the main stuff. I mean, not having like an abridged version of the game spot. And keep in mind, it's not including just the original FF7, but also the rest of the compilation, and then Children, Before Crisis, Crisis Core, yes. and the Cerberus. Yeah, consider that. And keep too. in mind, this is this is the first occasion where Western people have to play actually. Uh, before crisis on some capacity not but only, it's also why it's important not only that but consider this we get Evan children in video game form I don't even know how we're gonna handle it because I'll save it more the details uh, for when we get to that movie uh, but press, uh, press the, X to deliver the fights <laughs> are very limited in there the books are barely non-existent the bosses look very Underwhelming, you know, and in general, there's not much happening. Hey, there's the Sephiroth fight. That's pretty much the only thing people remember I've been chosen for. Well, that's stuff. because it was supposed to be just that. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, Evan Children was supposed to be just that? That explains so Pretty much. much. It was originally it was supposed to be just a simple, like, 15, 20 minutes short, nothing much more. But then it essentially became bloated a bit because more people threw ideas and they realized, well, why don't, you, why don't we just make it a movie? And keep in mind, Trova, it was presented for two years straight at the movie festival of Venice. Jesus. Really? Like, I mean, but, did they but, really but love it that, that much? That got presented two years straight, but Kingsglaive not even once. Okay. That is criminal. I'm okay. sorry. So I'm curious. Did well, they I mean, Kingsglaive wasn't that great a movie. I argue it's miles, miles better than Advent Children. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. So what was the reason? Did they love it that much, or was it just square shilling? I actually don't know about that. I will need to pro do, pro do more research. But yeah, but on yeah. The, on the matter. But yeah, I seriously do what... Uh, although, I will say this... Whether or not Ever Crisis is going to be like, you know, basically an abridged greatest hits of Seven Compilation or something that actually is full on, you know, bringing um, back. Okay, I should, um, I should actually yeah, give a bit a... more, I should give some detail on the opponents we're currently thrashing right now. Okay. Um, Bayern Munich, they are one of, if not the top side in all of German football. Specifically, yeah, the they play the in the top German league, the Bundesliga, where they, um, oh, obviously, it's, it's, it's basically the Premier, the, the Premier League equivalent of Germany, and that, oh. Oh. Dweebs. Dweebs. 
Are you just might in... as well change our shirt color to yellow. Are you just in <laughs> love with I the... I barely touched him! Dwibs, are you just in love with the yellow card and, like, you want to see her all the time, but this is the only way? Yeah, Whoa! <laughs> Jesus. That may have been a record amount of time for... Right, what did that do? Oh, not good. Yeah, he's missed time more than anything there. Just missed time to tackle. Tusk, tusk, tusk. But yeah, to you, um, uh, regardless though, I always do have the fear that Ever Crisis was literally made as sort of an apology for how you know. Again, if you haven't played the original seven, uh, seen Advent Children and played Crisis Core, you're not gonna get certain things about the remake, like. I really it's do. An, honestly, it's a nice way to have a cake and eat it too, in the form of having like not having to bother with like say HD versions of their just servers and Crisis Core because they might have some potential uh, copyright issues because gacked. That know? actually does make me wonder how they're going to adapt the gameplay of stuff like Crisis Core or oh, okay. servers. Probably, probably simplified in turn-based format, most and likely. That's it. That is over, and we have uh, we've uh, kind of embarrassed uh, the the footballing um, community. As usual, so business as usual. Pretty much. Yeah, uh, this is how their top team. It's great to see their worst team. From the from the teaser that we already showed, Joe, it seems that we're sticking to the turn-based system. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna do that for all across the board. Oh no, I failed one of them. That's it, gave her. And I can tell you already, do or I can already tell you, Joma, um, Record Keeper and to an extent also Opera Omnia has showcased the event, uh, um, the, applying the term base combat to uh, scenarios that did not add it originally is pretty much possible. I can see that. Again, uh, I think what I'm looking the most forward to is that they're going to make a game out of Advent Children. Like, okay, do you think they're going to create absolutely new scenarios to make Advent Children more interesting? Probably or not. Uh... All right, cutscene. All right, here we go. Oh, don't tell me. Danny gets a call from Ringo and finally confronts him for his evil deeds. Also, uh, copyright proof cereal. Crunchies. Yeah, totally not <laughs> Captain is Crunch, guys. So sad. He's all the load. Oh, but guys, look so at that. Danny's wearing a wolf shirt in uh, support of Alex. <gasps> Symbolism! <laughs> I guess, huh? <laughs> Jesus. Not to worry. Oh, He's Kim. always got Kim to call. Okay, why Kim and not Alex? Well, I mean, they did... did well, I mean, they did have a few couple of conversations yeah. earlier. Plus, well, like do, did you not just see the picture? <laughs> it's cracked. I get it. This is cracked. What, is it supposed to represent that he is and Alex's relationship is becoming fractured or that he has trouble trusting friends now because of what Ringo did to him? Well, except Kim, apparently. Oh god, are they setting up a romance between Danny and Kim? No. Please, no. <laughs> Oh, so apparently he hasn't been able to get in touch with Alex. Huh. Okay, that feels dickish for well, us. Well, basically, Daddy's just to read this so he can just take his bite off. Alex is weird. He's all big time now. He has, like, an entourage. All these strangers hanging around all the time. I really don't like it. Wow. Entourage. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that. Mm-hmm. Weird though, the didn't that rude guy hook up on him? Though, based off of how Alex's story is going by now, shouldn't he be bonding better with his sister because she won that game, so he promised to hang out with her more? It's like the, it's like the uh, what's that famous? It's like the, okay, it's, okay. I don't think it's anywhere near as bad as Beyond Two Soul. Oh no 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 no! no. It is. The stuff's being told out of all. Yeah, okay, I really do wish that there was, like, you know, a chronological mode for this game or something. That's the problem, Jova. The closest we get is what the game recommends you to do. The problem is that I argue the game recommends you to do it in a very shitty way. Wait, yeah. hang, hang on. Thanks for, thanks for phoning. Duh. Oh, let me guess. She needed somebody to talk to. 
Also, Danny, why yeah, have you Danny not? Danny was the one that called it, not the other way around. Danny, why have you not cleaned up those china boxes yet? Seriously, they've been there for years at this rate. Oh, sorry, months going off of the timeline, but still. <laughs> Either that or he's... Right, time to take our socials. But yeah, but yeah, I do get what you mean, though, Tia. Like, the recommended thing could have been done better. Alright, training time. Yay. Alright, let's get down to business. To defeat uh, the robber, I guess. <laughs> More fighting than Let's have a little fun and work on our long-range attempts at goal. Not much the keeper can do when you strike with power and precision. What is this? Spyro? I think um, I recognize it. It's that. It's that. Uh, it's that incredibly well-fitting music in the ants video game. The what? Oh, the ants! Oh. oh, the ants! That's right. Ants did have a video game. A car oh, racer. I, yeah. Wait. A what? A car? Ants had a car racer. That's right. Remember, Joe? It's it's the one that Kadika ruler built it. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Had a car he, yes. he, he liked it. He liked it overall, actually, even though Fulton Tilly is giving the Prince of Egypt a first person shooter. <laughs> Wait, what? It went, was one of his jokes, actually. Oh. Um, okay, I, mean, I haven't seen that movie, actually. Would that actually fit? Prince of Egypt? No. Well, basically, James, Prince of Egypt is literally the story about Moses, so giving Moses a first yeah, person you... shooter game. Okay. I would have asked you if you've seen the Ten Commandments, but you probably haven't. Nah, but which one? Is there like three of them? The original, the classic one, Charlton Eston, classic, you know. Yeah. I'll take that Uncultured as a people you know, everywhere. Um, if, uh, I think <laughs> if I could find the ads video game from Kex or something, I could do. Potentially. Be my guest. Mm. Yeah. Especially with the music that gets you to in the mood for the Allen. Yes. <laughs> as he, as he also said. Anyway, we got Dexris off to music. Wait, Woody Allen. Yay. So, so you're telling me, Dwibs, that Carnage was once an ant? I guess. <laughs> yeah, because Cletus. Oh, well, Jova, Jova, that's Woody Harrelson. Oh. Yeah. FC Bayern München. But yeah, I also have a thing that I remember since I rendered. Oh. That makes it sound familiar. I think it was from Turtles in Time. Oh. Mm. But uh, the, the game, thing that I... The yeah, obviously. The thing that I noticed when I rendered uh, the commentary you guys did about Bug's life uh, is that uh, the thing that I totally disagree is that I prefer Ants uh, much more. Yeah, Sorry. okay, it's like I've said before, there are things to prefer about ants, and there are things to prefer about bugs. Like, I don't think know. about, okay, bias aside when it comes to lie revealed situation, uh, yeah. uh, the movie itself is not too much of a problem, also there's a huge wasted opportunity they didn't have the villain actually voiced by Dennis Hopper, for shame, Pixar, <laughs> um, but... Uh, but no, I actually prefer Ants, not necessarily in terms of casting, but mostly just, you know, for the, the themes of what he talks about. I guess it helps that literally one of the head honchos of DreamWorks knew exactly what Pixar were going to do with A Bug's Life, so he knew the perfect way to counter that. I guess so. Yeah, but uh, seriously... Of course we can. Yeah, yeah. I'd say that, yeah, there are definitely arguments of liking Bugs Life or Ants better here and there. And yeah, I'll give Ants credit. Okay, it, okay, it technically has something of a lie reveal, but that is, like, so brushed over that it doesn't affect the plot, it, it, you say. It actually has, it probably has one of the better scenarios of, of it. The character acknowledging it, but dismissing it because it's not fucking important. Pretty much, and, you know, you can sort of understand the reasons for it, whereas in Bugs Life, the characters are flipping hypocrites. Oh, sure, yeah. Why well, revealed, even though you were lying to him in the first place in the hopes that he would potentially die or never come back. But, okay, what I will say instead that, uh, similar to a lot of the Pixar vs. DreamWorks comparison, 
and Bug's Life is the movie that has aged the best when it comes to CGI. Ants is just ugly to look at these days in a lot of manner. Mostly because we tried seeing what DreamWorks does usually to capture the photoreal, not for realism, but to have characters that resemble their voice actors, as in Woody Allen, Sylvester Stallone, you know, and so and on. And of course, Christopher Walken. Yes, so there's a lot of uncanny valley going on. Oh, um, you know, on the subject of Christopher Walken, when we, yes, when we get back to during the Bond, I can't wait till we get to review to a kill. Because Christopher okay, I don't Walken's think I actually ever saw that. that. Yeah. I don't think I ever saw that, but I actually wonder how Christopher Walken w- works as a legitimate villain, because uh, you can't tell me it... that Max... You can't tell me that Max Shrek was supposed to be a legitimate villain in Batman Returns. I'll put it this way, Tio. He's one of the few redeeming things about that movie. So, does he put on a British accent? Uh, no, he is his typical accent. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> He's walking accent. Uh, oh, okay, 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 okay. So, question. On what level of walking? Is it like, you know, typical walking, or is it like Kangaroo Jack, where it seems like he's doing a caricature of himself walking? I'd say typical walking. Because mm-hmm. there was definitely at some point where walking caught on to the memes about him, and he pretty much went, okay, Cause, um, time to well, Adam Weston. Because the kill was in 1985. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, again, it's 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 actually view to a kill is actually kind of both hilarious and sad at the same time. Wow. Hilarious, hilarious in that um, of how of how they thought the suits, the choices they made were a good idea, and sad because um, of sadly Roger Moore himself. So in that, uh... I'll put it this way: he was fifty-seven. And uh, his age, real. So, like it was so bad. Like he, he looked so old. He had to age up the henchmen so he would be more conceivable. He could beat them in a fight. Wait, wait, wait! wait. In just in his fifties, granted, granted, people do age differently. But usually, when you see an actor in their fifties, they normally can make it out fine. <laughs> and no, Apparently I don't he had just some facelift that didn't. Oh, that can do damage, unfortunately. Now that's a lot of damage. And, um, and, 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 and you know the weirdest thing about um, the transition from Roger Ball to Timothy Dalton? Mm-hmm. Dalton looks like a lot younger than Roger Ball, and yet the film that came out after A View to a Kill, the first one with Dalton, <laughs> uh, the Living Daylight wasn't a reboot. You know, Dwayne, saying the word Timothy... It was meant to be a sequel. <laughs> and yet it got treated like a reboot. No, 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 in that, no. You know, all the continuity was still the same. Yeah, I remember, Joel. Ba- it wasn't until Daniel Craig already that thing. Yeah, yeah, it was only di- after Die Another Day. When they decided to hit the reboot switch, and the... you know, you know, James, mentioning Timothy Dalton, also another yellow card. Mentioning Timothy Dalton, you made me imagine Timothy Spall as James Bond. Okay, you wanna you wanna laugh a bit, Jova? Um, what if we told you that Timothy Dalton voices a prominent character in the Tangled series? Oh. I can't tell you much about it because it's spoilers, but let's just say that it's not supposed to be human. Sure, knows what I'm talking about. Huh. Okay. It's a, uh, it's uh, a bit of way, hilarious guess casting. Who guess who Cardiff are facing in the semi final? Uh, I'll give you the, a hint. The team dun, with the smart brother, dun, yes. Dun, uh, dun, dun, there we go. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, <laughs> he Real just, Madrid? He just can't stay away from us, okay? Well, it was the look of the draw in that, in this case, to be fair, as well. <laughs> so I and guess yeah, Danny the... is uh, doing fine, all things considered. For the time being, at least. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, he's still got to you know, get through. The final plus there's still the Premier League to worry about because remember Cardiff is still in the hunt for that. Alright, let's just end the part of looking at our social media. 
And there it is. I, I told you it was a brief look. <laughs> All right, we'll uh, continue on the journey. Then. Yes. See you then. See ya.